That's right. In this video, I'm going to talk about everything you can do with the Google Home app to manage and enhance your Google Nest Wi-Fi. And the best thing is that you can do all of this using your smartphone lounging on your favorite couch. Gone are the days of working with an arcane, clunky and outdated admin interface that your traditional Wi-Fi router offers. The Google Home app offers a clean, intuitive and feature-packed interface to manage and enhance your home Wi-Fi all from your smartphone. So if you're considering buying a Nest Wi-Fi or have just bought one, continue watching this video to get an overview of everything you can do with the Google Home app and Nest Wi-Fi. Before we start, a quick note about my Wi-Fi setup. I'm using the second generation Google Nest Wi-Fi router with an access point for my 200 megabit fiber broadband internet. I'm also using the latest Google Home app for this video. Now, when you open the Google Home app and click on the Wi-Fi button, you can find all of the Wi-Fi settings and controls here. Let's walk through them all. Number one on our list is the speed test. You might be paying for a certain speed internet connection with your ISP, but what speeds are you truly getting? You can use the built-in speed test with the Google Home app to figure it out. This speed test measures the download and upload speeds from your router uh, or the primary Wi-Fi point in megabits per second or Mbps. The main difference between testing your internet speed here versus the other online test is the server being used for the speed test. The Google Home app uses Google servers, such as the servers hosting the YouTube videos, to test your internet speed, to provide a truer measure of the normal everyday internet usage, such as streaming YouTube or uploading photos to Google Photos. The Google Home app also offers a rating based on your download speed. And here are the possible ratings you can get and some examples of what you can do for every rating. Finally, if your internet speed is not what you expected it to be, here are a few things you can try out. First, run the speed test again, perhaps at a different time of the day, from a different device or from a different location in your home to rule out any issues at your end versus your internet connection. Second, test your Wi-Fi mesh network. I will cover this later in this video. Third, check the priority device settings in the Google Home app. I will also cover this later in this video. Lastly, check with your internet service provider to see if there are any issues that's affecting your area or your internet connection. Oh, by the way, you can also see the results of the previous tests you've done. And as you can see from my internet speeds, uh, they've been pretty consistent and as expected. Number two on our list is the mesh test. If you have multiple Wi-Fi devices, such as a Wi-Fi router and a Wi-Fi point, then you can use this test to measure the strength of the connection between these devices. This test is very useful to confirm the optimal placement of your Nest Wi-Fi points to increase the Wi-Fi coverage across your home while making sure your Wi-Fi is reliable and fast everywhere. The strength of the connection between your Nest Wi-Fi devices depends on various factors such as the distance between the devices, type of walls in between them, and the height at which they are placed. The stronger the connection is, the better your Wi-Fi will be throughout your house. Once your mesh test is concluded, one of these three ratings will appear, and here is what those ratings mean. If one of your points have a poor connection, here are some recommendations to fix it. First, the line of sight between your Wi-Fi devices. If possible, Reposition the Wi-Fi points to avoid obstructions like walls, doors and aquariums to improve performance. Second, place the devices somewhere off the ground, such as on a shelf. Third, consider your overall mesh network as the Wi-Fi points depend on each other to provide great coverage in your home. In order to fix a particular weak point, you may need to move a different point in order to fix it. Lastly, check out this official Nest help page link in the description below for more guidance. Number three on our list is changing the Wi-Fi name and password. Yes, you can change the name and password of your Wi-Fi with a few simple clicks. Here you can see your Wi-Fi name and password 
Copy the password in your clipboard to then paste it elsewhere, perhaps share with someone via an instant messaging app, or directly paste it in a message or email for you to then send it. Super handy. You can change the Wi-Fi and name and password from this screen. Just remember that if you change your Wi-Fi name or password, you will then have to reconfigure all of your devices that are currently connected to your Wi-Fi to use this new name and password. And a pro tip. If you reuse the network name and password from your previous router, you won't have to reconnect the devices that were previously connected on that network. Number four on our list is the connected devices. The Google Home app provides easy access to check all the devices currently connected to your Wi-Fi network, as well as their live internet usage. A handy tool to both check for any unrecognized devices connected to your Wi-Fi as well as any unexpected internet usage by one or more of your devices. From this screen, you can view the connection details of a device, such as its name, IP address, MAC address, etc., as well as change the name of a connected device. Purely for easy identification in the Google Home app, and it does not have any impact on the device host name. If you spot a device that's connected to your Wi-Fi network, and you do not recognize or you want to block, you can hit the pause button. And when you have confirmed that the device is legit, you can unpause its Wi-Fi connection. If you want a particular device in your home to have the fastest Wi-Fi connection, such as your work laptop, you can set that device to be a priority device. By doing so, the Wi-Fi network reserves more bandwidth for that device, and this is particularly useful when there are multiple devices competing for your internet bandwidth. Any device on your Wi-Fi network, whether wired directly or connected wirelessly, can be prioritized using this setting. Number five on our list is the preferred activities. You can focus or prioritize your network bandwidth on activities that need a faster connection to the internet. Currently, you can choose two preferred activities, video conferencing and gaming. The video conferencing activity currently only supports Google Meet and Zoom calls, while the gaming activity seems to be tailor-made for Google's Stadia gaming experience. Number six on our list is the family Wi-Fi. You can pause internet and block millions of adult websites on a selected set of devices connected to your Wi-Fi, both on demand and on schedule. A handy feature to both stay on top of your children's screen time as well as keeping them safe online. Let's walk through this feature. You first create a group of devices you would want to control by providing a group name and choosing a set of connected devices. You can then block millions of adult websites on this group of devices. This feature uses Google's safe search technology. You can automatically pause the internet for everyday events like your children's bedtime or family dinners. Just create a schedule, select the group to apply the schedule to, and the devices that you choose will go offline and come back online according to your schedule. When things don't go as planned, you can postpone an upcoming scheduled pause or end an active schedule before it's scheduled end time. Finally, you can also pause and unpause the Wi-Fi access on a group of devices on demand at any time. Number seven on our list is the guest Wi-Fi. You can create a separate network just for your guests. Guests will be able to get online and use shared devices that you choose, like a Chromecast, Smart TV, wireless speaker or printer. Number eight on our list are the security and privacy settings. In addition to a stateful firewall, Google Nest Wi-Fi also offers WPA2 and WPA3 security protocols to secure your Wi-Fi network. By default, Google Nest Wi-Fi uses the WPA2 protocol to maximize compatibility with legacy connected devices. However, you can turn on the WPA3 transition mode. This setting allows both WPA2 and WPA3 devices to join your Wi-Fi network. On the privacy side, the Google Home app allows you to disable two types of data collected, cloud services and Wi-Fi point stats. Follow the link in the description to find out more about these types of data and their uses. Number nine on our list is the advanced network settings. The Google Home app offers a bunch of settings for those advanced use cases, such as setting up a bridge mode, forwarding or opening ports, tweaking your WAN settings, 
setting up a static IP, configuring your DNS server, etc. I will not go through these in detail as you would only use them if there's a special need and probably one off. In my last six months, I have not had to tweak any of them and the default settings worked great. Number 10 and the final one on our list. The Google Home app offers a one-click option to restart your router and the Wi-Fi points which sometimes can fix common issues, similar to the good old fix of pulling the power cable and reconnecting it. But the ultimate fix, if all else fails, is the factory reset. Using this feature will erase all current settings and data permanently and you'll have to set up your router and points again from scratch. That's it folks, those are all the awesome things you can do with the Google Home app to manage and enhance your Google Nest Wi-Fi. If you've made it this far and found this video useful, please do give this video a thumbs up. It'll greatly help the YouTube algorithm to recommend this video to others like you. If you have any feedback or questions, please feel free to comment. And do subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified of my future videos. Until next time.